Hello friends, welcome to iExambi. I'm Satakshi and I'm your English faculty at iExambi. And in this video, we will see something about IBPS PO Descriptive English and this is about your letter and essay. And we will see a uh, very important 65 questions of essay as well as letter writing, right? So let's first consider essay writing. So the topics, you know, will uh, be broad as in uh, from various areas, right? And these areas are, you can have essay topics from economy topics something like highlight the causes and effects of food inflation right or any other kind of inflation can be talked about right then what can be done to make most of india's demographic dividend uh, right or uh, anything about employment can be asked okay and then suggest ways to tackle frauds in the economy right so uh, you can mention some points uh, regarding that how uh, banking frauds or cyber crime these things can be uh, tackled uh, when we talk about india right uh, then economic growth in the post pandemic world this is one very important topic and you can see that how can you can write uh, that how uh, has uh, economic growth uh, uh, you know taken place after the pandemic uh, struck and uh, you know it can include points like uh, how the rolling out of schemes by the government uh, helped people get back on track it uh, helped some of the um, some of the areas some of the uh, segments like hospitality and other such segments to uh, come back on track and work as they were working uh, in the uh, pre pandemic era right so things like these can come here okay then uh, topics from banking and finance are expected like uh, how to prevent npas in banking industry right then you can uh, write that how um, the use of ai can be used to prevent npas how in the first month of non payment of um, a loan can be um, can be you know used as an alarm and then uh, you know how the banks can act accordingly okay then how to prevent for, uh, frauds particularly in the banking industry so in the uh, at the uh, in the previous question at the economic level at the country level we saw these things and this is pertaining particular to the banking industry right so again things uh, things like upi so again, things like UPI and uh, cyber crimes, these can uh, fit in uh, this essay. Okay. So now this one, role of microfinance in building India's economy or the role of self-help groups in India's financial structure. Now in this, you have to write that how financing small businesses or how giving out small loans also helps um, you know, people uh, do some business and move away from uh, this uh, their jobs, their low paying jobs and how can it bring them under uh, the uh, formal sector, right? So things like these can also be mentioned in role of microfinance, right? Then importance of digital transformation in the banking and insurance sectors. You can write that how the need of uh, going to banks uh, has really come down with the uh, with more and more uh, you know movement from the digital uh, from the uh, offline platform to the online platforms right so this can be written here then privatization of psus importance of investor education how an uh, educated investor is more confident and takes um, intelligent decisions things like that okay then financial inclusion very very important topic from your descriptive english point of view as well as your interview point of view right so financial inclusion you must know right it started uh, like RRBs were established with the idea of financial inclusion. Then people don't know actually students that um, financial inclusion is for what? Uh, most of the people answer this question like financial inclusion refers to including ruler pay people in the ambit of social uh, financial services. But it is not only for ruler people, those who are unbanked, right? So anyone living in the city, in the urban areas, in the rural areas, everyone comes into uh, this ambit of financial inclusion um, when and you know there are several ways in which a person can be um, can be treated or considered to be financially included it is not only a bank account but other things as well you can search on them like insurance and several other things several other parameters that can call one to be financially included right uh, then social issues the topic on social issues are actually uh, you have uh, many points to write in this but then again it should be very 
well structured right social issues like women empowerment or women safety contribution of women entrepreneurs in building india's economy inclusive development widening rich poor gap education system in india or you can be asked about uh, the new education policy right so in education system in india you can write that how the system is changing earlier the streams were well defined and if someone takes commerce he has to study only commerce but nowadays inter stream uh, education is also allowed and this is according to the new education policy stress is also being given to the vocational courses right so all this you can write how is the education system in india changing? changing right work from home culture you can uh, you can write either pro or con but if you are mentioning the con you can you have to suggest ways to make it a pro right so uh, the, uh, work work from home culture you have a lot to write upon this uh, uh, like you can say uh, how companies are saving on money by saving on the rent and other things uh, the vendor cost right and Uh, and also uh, you know uh, it is a challenge because monitoring becomes difficult there are not uh, not set guidelines things like these right uh, now contribution of startups in building india's economy you can mention here uh, about uh, startup india scheme and things you know startups like there are many startups you can give the example of any of the startups you can mention uh, flipkart you can mention uh, nike and you know many other companies okay then gender equality uh, Uh, then again effect of social media on youth yeah, importance of social media in spreading awareness you can uh, also be asked about fake news right and how uh, this is in the next topic actually effect of online gaming on youth you can also be asked about um, the fake news right fake news and how um how freedom of speech is uh, actually uh, you know considered uh, to be now what do you say it is manipulated the right or the freedom of speech is taken in a wrong way by media sometimes right so this can also be asked okay mental health in students right or mental health overall can also be asked okay freedom of speech or media right then climate change uh, you can be asked about global warming very important what kind of planet are we leaving for our future generations right then you can write things about a carbon footprint or sustainable development goals uh, uh, then uh, cop agreements and paris agreement things like these right uh, then sustainable development uh, significance of renewable energy resources again we we can mention these points how the renewable energy resources uh, are depleting and they are pollution causing and things like that okay air pollution and urbanization uh yes then how is urbanization or you know more cars how are these things leading to air pollution in the cities and also you can talk about burning of stubble and things like those okay developed world responsible for extreme pollution now this if you know you read the newspaper very uh, thoroughly this is something that you know uh, comes up uh in talks every now and then and this is one topic where the developed world and the developing world seems to be divided the developing world uh, feels that the developed world is actually responsible for most of the pollution and they have resources and means to tackle that pollution but then they are uh, you know putting that onus on the developing countries and how the developing countries have to you know bear the cost of uh the irresponsible behavior of the developed world right so all this you can write on uh, in this topic then again uh, something similar developed world is pressurizing developed countries to adopt expensive means to cut down carbon emission right so this is one thing that it is easier for the developed world to cut down on carbon carbon emission because they have the means again but the developing world does not have that many means they have larger population they don't have that money so it uh, it you know takes a lot and it is very difficult for the developing countries to live up to those expectations right so uh, all these things can be written here you choose this topic only when you know about it right if you don't it's okay this topic we saw in rbi depr something like this the 30th one right uh, something like this came in rbi depr this year right uh, then about technology uh, you can be asked about uh, cbdc central bank digital currency about e rupee you can be asked about uh, you know how does the upi uh, you know the use of upi and things like that how is life 
changed after um, after extensive use of upi things like these uh, and also you can be asked about uh, bitcoin you know things like uh, cryptocurrency uh, or a comparison between these two so be ready uh, with some points on this topic then ai in banking sector a lot about ai can be asked right so ai in banking sector ai in our day to day lives right then you can here this is a very very interesting topic you can write about alexa or uh, this this google feed Feature also, right? And how uh, you know things have become easier for the old people also, where it is easier for uh, us to actually help the old. If there is a grandma at our home and she is having difficulty in switching on the light, then we can have a. sensing uh, light where uh, the light will switch on as soon as grandmother walks in the uh, toilet you know things like these so uh, in our day to day lives you have to mention about the daily uses and ai in banking sector you have to mention about its use particularly in the banking sector right then ai in agriculture or technology in agriculture right so uh, these things you know be aware because agriculture is something that india is dependent on so agriculture is one important topic right then Uh, we are coming to letter writing now right so in letter writing friends you have to understand that uh, in four ways the question can be asked right um, either you have to write it to the editor or it can be related to the bank it can be related to a company or it can be an informal so now when we talk only about the letter to the editor it can be uh, you always write to the editor it will not be from the editor right so it will always be to the editor and these kind of letters are mostly on social issues right like uh, write a letter to the editor highlighting the issue of no street lights in your area or faulty street lights in your area something like this or it can be write a letter to the editor of the newspaper stressing on the need of rain water harvesting or stressing on the importance of including exercise in your routine or irregular water supply in your area so you see these all are social issues right about irregular power supply in your area need of mental composure during exams right uh, then wise use of social media right then highlighting the poor condition of local dispensary could be poor condition Uh, of uh, the government school in your area could be the poor condition of sports facility in your area could be the importance of sports right so you could be asked to highlight the importance of sports importance of exercise importance of um, health you know importance of having a healthy diet all the social issues right uh, will be uh, written to the editor all right uh so this is uh, one kind of category and write letter to the editor usually comes right so be prepared for this now next uh, you can be asked about the bank also now the bank either you can write to the bank or the bank person can write to you right so when we are talking about to the bank then it can be write a letter to the bank manager requesting him to change your address change your name after marriage you know any change that is required okay uh requesting him or her to add a nominee for your bank account in their records right then issue a new passbook up the old one has expired up uh, is finished is lost uh, whatever reason you want to give right uh, issue a duplicate atm card for your mother who is a joint account holder with you right so you have you already have one atm card and then you have uh, you want to request for the another one because your mother is a joint account holder right uh, then requesting him or uh, her to issue the new atm card as you have lost your original one now friends these topics seem very simple right and you may feel that okay i will just write the letter that okay just issue me an atm card the error here in these kind of questions arises when we are not talking relevance in the question right suppose when we are talking about this that atm card is lost right so we have to give uh, you know this person the bank manager a police report as well right you have to give a police report where you have reported that you know your atm card is lost this is important you lost your wallet and then you have reported it to to the police and now you are asking uh the uh, the bank to issue a new one otherwise anyone can ask you know for it in your name so just make sure that uh, you are uh, 
uh, you have a police report and you have you have lost the original one this is also uh, uh, one what do you say you must have lost the original one and that is why you are asking for the new one right so you should not have two in the same name so this uh, that is why this is uh, this is required right suppose we are asking we are requesting for a change in address then we must give our aadhar card or any card that is uh, you know required or any uh, if not aadhar card or electricity bill something that has our uh, address proof right so you have to be alert as um, as to what all needs to be sent for these requirements for these um, you know when the need is to update something in your accounts rela uh, relating documents must be sent or information must be furnished right so make sure that you include that information okay then apart from this write a letter to the bank manager requesting information on home car or education loan any kind of loan you can request an information so question will not be like this home slash car slash education loan it will be either home loan car loan education loan like this okay so write a letter to the bank manager requesting him or her to disburse the sanctioned loan ab kya hai what what is the process the loan has been sanctioned it has been approved by the bank but it will be uh, disbursed only when you raise an invoice right so please disburse this to so and so vendor because he has done this work for me right so you have to request uh, the manager to disburse the amount okay uh, then uh, again when you are it may be possible that you are writing as a bank manager or employee okay so from the bank now you are the manager of abc bank write a letter now you are the manager of abc bank write a letter to a customer requesting to submit required documents for education loan processing so there is a story behind it that education loan uh, was actually requested by uh, by this uh, customer and now it uh, you require certain documents for the loan to process so you are requesting those documents right uh, then you are the manager of abc bank write a uh, write a letter to the customer requesting him for kyc updation so you will ask uh, the Uh, concerned customer to visit with the uh, required documents also right address proof id proof and things like that okay uh, being an employee of the bank write a letter to the manager of your bank requesting her to arrange for a training on new software so bank has employed a new software and now you want a training on it okay you are the manager of abc bank write a letter to ac vendor requesting him to carry out scheduled ac services okay then you have to write a letter to your zonal office requesting for permission to hold a customer meet up in order to explain new kiosk to the customer so your bank has introduced a new kiosk could be any kiosk a passbook printing or any anything kiosk and you want to explain its feature to your customers so you are requesting a meeting right uh, with the with all the customers right uh, so you are the manager of abc bank write a letter to agm requesting him to permit you to hold an awareness camp in the nearby village to tell the villagers about the bank offerings right so this also happens the that bank puts camps in nearby places uh, so that uh, you can have you know you can make them aware of your product so uh, for that you are uh, taking permission from your agm okay and now next is a company then now you are talk about a company um, either you are from the company side uh, you are maybe from a bank side also but you are writing to a company write a letter to your vendor complaining about the delay in delivery of ordered laptops so you may write as a uh, as a manager or ceo of some other company or you may write as a manager of a bank uh, it may be given in the question if not just consider yourself to be uh, the uh, manager of any company right write a letter to your vendor complaining about the defective lap uh, laptops received in bulk order it can be about anything right now i am talking about the defective laptops it could be um, uh, delivery of less number of laptops could be anything or uh, could not also be laptops could be furniture could be an inquiry right you can write to inquire about the best price they can offer for 50 laptops or for 50 uh, chair table set you know things like these then uh, informal letters now comes the part of informal letters now these also these can be either bank related uh, as in you have to impart some bank related information to your family members or you can tell them about a trip or something or you can be asked to uh, encourage someone right uh, like this write a letter to your uncle in the village telling him the importance of crop insurance right write a, uh, write a letter
letter to your cousin guiding him for bank preparation exam uh, then write a letter to your uncle in the village making him aware of the various bank schemes for farmers write a letter to your cousin congratulating him on his good marks right so these kind of questions even if you practice all these questions right uh, easily easily uh, like you will score very well in your uh, in your exam and make sure your formats are correct okay uh, so uh, we have uh, i think we have provided the formats uh, in our course they are there in the course but uh, for you people you you may join our telegram channel um uh, i'll uh, put the link of the telegram channel in the description box join our channel or uh, stay tuned here we'll soon come up with the formats right or join the channel and then we'll share the formats there as well right so this is all for the video friends and do uh, download these uh, topics uh from the attached pdf that is given in the description box and uh this is all for the video friends and do subscribe to our channel if you already have not do press the bell icon to continue receiving the updates for the videos we bring for you